Uh, one point about colonization is that it may be self-limiting, uh, and I'll explain that in a moment. The, the Fermi paradox is a well-known um, question asked by Enrico Fermi. He said, you can actually create a civilization on a planet, send out spaceships, let's say two spaceships, go dis discover two planets, build resources in situ, and then have each of those go discover two more planets, and two, and so this doubles up every sort of generation. You can actually completely populate every planet in the entire galaxy on a time scale short compared with evolution, like 100 million years or so. It's not billions. So he's saying, if this was done at all, there should be aliens on every planet. So where are they? I don't see them. This was the question posed. So we have to ask, what are the solutions to the Fermi paradox? Maybe the aliens have come, and as Michio Kaku said this morning, they looked at Earth and noticed there's no sign of intelligent life and kept going. That's one possibility. Another possibility, which relates to whether colonization could be self-limiting, is that if you have the DNA to colonize, that's a certain kind of, I can't stay here, I have to go there. I want that planet. So you do this, but so does the other person who goes to that planet. And you rapidly reach a point where you start wanting planets that have already been taken. And you end up imploding with violence because your colonization urge is left unsatisfied as the galaxy starts running out of planets. So one of the solutions to the Fermi paradox is that any civilization with the urge to colonize that badly will self-destruct by killing themselves trying to colonize. That's a relatively new concept in how to resolve this paradox. But one thing I think is clear, whether or not we pitch tent on Mars and live there, which I'm skeptical of, what'll certainly attract people is tourism. 